Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, in today's video, uh, we're gonna start working on a, on a carb. I'm going to replace the plastic uh, fuel inlet uh, connection. Uh, it's a bit uh, brittle, I'm afraid it will break over time. Uh, one of the uh, upgrades you can do is remove that um, plastic elbow and there is a brass feeding that is pressed in. Um, you can see I'm trying to remove it with the, the vice grip and you can replace it with a, a brass uh, brass elbow, fully brass, no, no, no more plastic. So that's what I'm going to try. So no luck with the, the vice grip. So plan B is to uh, tap the inside of the brass fitting. Uh, I'm going to use a quarter inch uh, tap for, for it and, and see how it goes. So next I'm going to use a quarter inch uh, bolt, uh, I'm going to use a small socket uh, for as a support, um, a big washer and a, a quarter inch nut. Um, so I'm going to tighten the, the bolt into the brass fitting and then I'm going to tighten the nut. By doing that, that will pull the, the brass fitting of the part. Yeah, success. It came out pretty easily. So the trick is to uh, to put the, the brass fitting uh, to leave it overnight in a, in the freezer. So you know it will, I guess, shrink uh, a little bit, just just enough so you can you can press it. Um, I just started with a with a hammer to put it in place and. I was. I tried to use um, the clamp to push it down, but uh, the top of the brass fitting it, it's right on an angle. It's not a flat surface, so the the clamp were moving around and I wasn't going down really straight. So I decided to just, you know, use the hammer and hammer it down and using a piece of wood to protect the brass, obviously. And um, it worked. It worked pretty well too, you know. Uh, Again, the trick is to, to keep the brass. I, I left it overnight in a, in a freezer, so that's it. So now is the time to uh, to polish the the fender, so I can uh, I can reinstall the, the CC bar and, and and reinstall the fender on the frame. Um, once that will be done, I'll be able to uh, to do the, the wiring for the tail light. So next is the installation of the, the petcock. Uh, I'm just gonna put some uh, Indian uh, shellac gasket that resist uh, mostly gas, fuel, diesel, uh, and that's what I had in my, in my toolbox. So 
uh, yeah. doing that just as an uh, extra precaution. You know, um, the gas tank when I got it after I cleaned it with with several you know pass of uh, vinegar and acid and whatever, um, I, I had a, a small pinhole leak. Um, so what what I did uh, after I cleaned it, uh, I, I pour some uh, red coat which make a, it's a liner, it's a one part, you just pour it in, you shake, shake the tank very well to, to put that product everywhere inside the tank and it, and it dries you know, and you, you, you remove the, the excess. Uh, so I did that, but I haven't tested the tank yet. So now is the moment of true. Uh, I'm gonna put some gas in it, uh, fill the tank all the way up and see if I have any So <laughs> that will suck if I do because uh, that paint job and everything, but you know, I guess that if it happened, if it does leak, that will have been a good practice for the next one. So let's see. Okay, the gas tank is now full of gas. Right there. Wait. Well, so far so good, good to go, no leak. Wow, that's a relief somehow. Okay, so fender has been uh, reinstalled with CC bar and the light, the tail light has been uh, installed too. Um, I'm gonna run the wire. Um, I got the, I wanted to put a connector uh, that will be located uh, at the base of the CC bar. So if I have to remove it, uh, you know, I can just disconnect it and it's easy. I use, I reuse the, connector from the original harness and it is the connector that were used for the neutral switch so i got enough you know wire plus the connector for both sides that you know, i just use the same uh, soldering um, connection you know stuff and now you can see it's working it's turning on and the ground the ground again uh, run through the, the chassis of the of the bike so I just run two wires and that's it okay that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, in the next video I think we'll be able to, to start the bike so stay tuned thanks again bye